everyone, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. I am so excited to show you this puzzle brand. I never heard of it. They reached out to me, said, hey, can I send you a puzzle just so I can get your opinion on it? And so that's what we were doing today. So this video is not sponsored by Teresa, but they did give me the puzzle for free to review. I just wanna give you my honest thoughts about this brand and my pros and cons like normal. Just a few things about the brand before we get into the puzzle, which I've already done and completed, is that they are based out of Switzerland, but they do have shipping here in the US. They have a lot of really good things going for it. They are a carbon neutral company, which is huge. They try to be sustainable. They support wildlife conservation, and I am so excited to share more with you. I'm just gonna show you the box in the puzzle, do the puzzle, and we'll be back in a little bit. All right here is the box for the Tracer puzzle. This is the wildlife collection number two, and it is super bright and vibrant. It does have cellophane on it, so let's remove that so there's less glare. All right, hopefully you can see it better now, but it is so vibrant and colorful and I'm so excited to do this one. Looks like it's by John Francis and I'll just give you what it looks like on all sides. So here is the side. Here's the rest of the edges, all pretty similar, same information. Here is the back of the puzzle and you can see hopefully that this is all eight puzzles all together and so we're doing this one over here i think this is such a cool concept currently these four are the only ones available and i think these four are their newer collection which are coming and so this is just some information about this whole project and it's just in a few different languages for where they sell them we're just going to get into this and see what the puzzle pieces look like i just wanted to show you what it looks like inside the box we have just our traditional puzzle bag and then it does have this little image here of the full puzzle and it has little numbers on it which identify the different animals which is really fun and educational i love that about this here are some puzzle pieces so you can see traditional puzzle shapes very vibrant i hope you can see that on camera they are very saturated in pieces just a tiny bit of glare like not really too much if you can move it you can see it on this third piece here so a little bit of glare but nothing crazy glossy here is the puzzle thickness really decent quality pieces and then the back is just cardboard looking at this image you can clearly see very distinct characters here which may be helpful um, I do want to separate out the edge pieces and I will probably separate out as like the colors of the animals. I think that's where I'm going to go with this guy. So I can definitely do like these animals here. Definitely all the red birds I can separate. I'm pretty sure I could probably distinguish wh where the owl is. Um, we'll just figure it out as we go. But I am so excited for this one.
just go into the wildlife collection number two puzzle that I got. This puzzle has super saturated pieces. It is absolutely stunning. As you saw in the video, I actually had help from my husband, which was really fun. We realized how weird we are when we puzzle together, but we had a blast. This puzzle is gorgeous. As you saw in the clip that this puzzle is just one of eight pieces in a larger collection, which I think is a really cool idea. They can be a puzzle by themselves or you can just make a huge collage of the puzzles and it's like crazy animals everywhere. One thing they are trying to do is to launch a 3000 piece puzzle, which I'm just excited to see what that looks like. It features 10 artists. It's supposed to help with Conservation International. So it's a nonprofit organization that helps wildlife conservation. Now they are in contact with their shipping facility. Currently they don't have a way to ship it plastic free. So they are looking at other alternatives, but also they do offset all of their plastic use and their shipping use by being carbon neutral. I don't know all the facts on how that all works. So I'll leave Shell Bizzle here on YouTube it has a whole video about how to be carbon neutral. And I feel like she has a better understanding about it than I do. I do want to be as transparent as possible when it comes to brands sending me their puzzle. So as always, I want to give you the cons about the puzzle or the things that they could improve on. First off, there's little extra knobs on the edge. I hope you can see it in the footage, but it has just that little extra bit where you can see where it was like cut or sliced or stamped, however they make their puzzle. Around the border, they just have that little extra piece that you could easily shave off. Wasn't a big deal, but something I did want to mention. The thing I had it wrong about the edges is that the puzzle itself doesn't have the most secure fit. Once they're all together, it's fine, but the edges were so similar on one edge and you can see in the footage when I was doing it, it took me about halfway through the puzzle that I actually got that one side of the border in order because almost every single piece you could like, you could easily just like swap out and that's what I was doing to try to figure out which way it was supposed to go because they all could fit and that was just really frustrating. I didn't notice it as much in the interior pieces but the border itself was really tricky because you could just like swap them all out and they could all fit. Since they are a more sustainable brand and they're trying to do everything the correct way is a bit more expensive. So I'm basing off these numbers off of Swiss francs to dollar conversion. So I'm sorry if it's not 100% correct. For one puzzle is $26 Swiss francs, which equals to be around $30 US, which is not the most expensive puzzle that I actually purchased. So for me, it is reasonable for all the good things that it is going for this brand. One of the biggest critiques I have for the brand is the cost for shipping and they are such a small company they don't have the ability to absorb the cost like larger companies here in the US. We are definitely spoiled by Amazon Prime free shipping or free shipping with a $75 purchase. You know, those brands have such a large clientele that they can absorb those costs. This is such a small company that we do just pay the cost of shipping and it is expensive and I did reach out and say do you guys do less of a shipping cost if it's more puzzles. They did say, yes, we know shipping isn't the most ideal solution right now. They're trying to work on a better alternative, but currently if you buy more puzzles, it does reduce the cost of shipping per puzzle. So if you buy one puzzle, the shipping is $15, which is expensive. Um, but if you buy up to three puzzles, it reduces down to $22 for the whole three bits. So if you're thinking about buying more than one puzzle, I do it all at the same time because you definitely will save quite a bit of money on shipping. For me personally, I think I would rather have the puzzle be more expensive and have a smaller shipping cost. And then if I buy three puzzles, get a reduction in price. I know they're small. I know they're working on it. In general, I am really excited to show you this brand because I love things that are sustainable in my home. I'm always trying to find a better alternative and to find a better alternative in puzzles is always nice. And I love supporting small businesses. I'm excited to see the other four puzzles as they launch because this one here, which is called Tropical Forest Floor, looks absolutely stunning. And that is one I will probably buy in the future. Also the two water ones look really cool too. Let me know your thoughts on this brand. Again, this is an unsponsored review. I just want to show you the pros and cons and let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on it. I love the picture quality, the saturation of the puzzle pieces. It was so much fun to put together with my husband and I'm very excited to buy more from them in the future. They also have board games too, which also look really fun. So I might get a board game and a puzzle. We shall see in the future, but thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a good day and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys.